Hello friends, my name is Sulab. I am the cyber security expert. So today we are going to talk about what is malware and what are the type of malwares and how these malware reach to our system and how to prevent our system from malware attacks. And in case your system is compromised with the malware attack, what kind of action we have to take? How can we minimize the cost of remediation? That is very important. And this is the most frequently asked interview question in cyber security interviews. I am going to create the full series of cyber security interview questions. So kindly subscribe my channel, uh, like my videos and uh, uh, put the comment as a feedback. So let's understand what is malware. So malware is basically a, a software, a malicious software or a program which is designed by the attackers to make, to, uh, to disrupt to disturb the normal operations of a computer or of a system. So uh, if your uh, system is compromised with malware attack, it may start displaying the unnecessarily ads or it may steal the information from your system also. Uh, it may encrypt your file, some of the file that you are op able to open but may not be able to open now, it may get encrypted and attacker may ask for the money. Attacker can also uh, control your system and create the backdoor create the backdoor and control the system and can uh, further deploy some more soft malicious software here and uh, attack some other company some other system from your machine also you may face slowness of accessing your system your system may get hanged so these are the probable consequences if your system is compromised with malware so now let's talk about what are the type of malwares there are many type of malwares, uh, type of malware such as spyware, virus, worm, trojan horse, ransomware, right? So uh, now interviewer can ask the question what is malware or he can also ask what is spyware, what is virus or what is worm and so on, right? So it's very important to understand each about each and every type of malware. So let's talk about the spyware. So spy, uh, spyware is again one, one of the type of malware. So if spyware is installed on your system, uh, it may monitor your system activities, it may monitor the web activities, means what all website you are accessing, it may be monitored by the spyware. The simple example of a spyware is keylogger. If a keylogger is installed in your system, it may uh, record your uh, web activities, what kind of website you are accessing, what data you are entering on the website. Let's say you are entering some banking website, you are entering your username and password. Password is always encrypted, right? But uh, spyware records, the key logger record based on the key you type, right? So it can record your password also and send it to the attacker. So it record the um, spyware, monitor your activity, system activities and uh, your web activity and send the detail to the attacker. Next type of uh, malware is virus. So virus generally comes as an attached with, with your legitimate file, with your legitimate document. Generally we say, right, our, our uh, file is infected with malware or document is infected with malware. That means your legitimate files may be infected with virus. That means virus comes as an attached with the files. So if your system, uh, so virus has the tendency of replicating itself. It has tendency of copying itself means it can create the multiple copies and resulting it may fill your hard disk, it may overutilize your RAM, it may overutilize your CPU and then you may, may feel the slowness of your system, your system may get hang. Also you may not be able to uh, access certain files or files those are uh, you know uh, the uh, infected with the virus. So in order to install the virus on your system, you have to click the file, you have to uh, click the infected file. Until unless you are not clicking, clicking that infected file, mal virus will not replicate, will not take any action. And also uh, how the virus can, so virus can travel from one system to another system if those are connected to the same network, right? As well as uh, virus can travel through emails as well as through USB. Maybe you have taken the data from the infected system. Another system can also be infected with virus. Once you've taken the copies, if you, once you click on the copies, it may infect the other system also. But the, the main thing is, in order to infect the system from your virus, uh, you have to click the file, you have to click the infected files. Next is worm. Worm is similar to the virus. 
but the main difference is in order for your system to inf uh, infect the worm no need to click on the file it has capability to you know infect the system without clicking even though two system which are connected to the uh, same network worm can travel from one network to another that means if you, if one network if your company network one system is infected with the worm can infect the full of the, all the system of the same network so that is why worm is much dangerous than virus because you are human uh, intervention human click is not required your, your click is not required for uh, you know running the worm file right uh, next uh, uh, type of malware is trojan horse so trojan horse is again a type of malware uh, if trojan horse install in your system it will create the back to that means once it is installed in your system it will create the back to attacker uh, once it is installed it will give the control to the attacker that means attacker can control the control your machine and uh, later it can uh, you know it can um, uh, deploy certain more malicious software and can start the attack can attack some other companies using your system so that is called as trojan horse now ransomware another type of uh, type of malware is ransomware so ransomware uh, if your com if your system is infected with ransomware it will it will encrypt most of the files on your system that means you will no longer be able to access those files and then it will ask for the ransom that means a scar it it, it it will ask for the money generally it once you, uh, system is compromised it will leave one html message once you open that html message it will return that your systems all all the files has been uh, encrypted with uh, ransomware if you want to uh, get your file back you have to pay some money to their account so that is called as uh, ransomware so these are the, some some of the type of uh, malwares now let's understand how these malware reach to your network generally uh, if you have access any malicious website from there it, there is a possibility it can download or uh, you got some malicious emails some email which look like legitimate and you open that email as an attachment so there is a possibility that malware will be installed on your system or um, from some other sources you have taken some data on the usb and you plugged that usb on your system there might be chances that you will get the malware on your system so these are the probable uh, you know uh, uh, sources from from there you can get the malware on your system on your network now how to prevent our system our network from the malware infection first thing is uh, you can install the uh, antivirus anti malware right and you can regularly uh, scan your system your machines from the uh, antivirus anti malware also antivirus has the capability of doing the real time scanning as soon as virus uh, or malware comes to your system it will scan and it will detect if antivirus has the signature antivirus works on the signature if it has a signature it will detect and it will prevent the virus to infect the system or malware to infect the system another case is uh, uh, if you have web application or website that also has to be secure uh, from the malwares so you make sure that you are running the security scan time to time to avoid your website to be infected from the malware so uh, for the web application security one of the device that we call as web application firewall you can uh, install the web application firewall that can be blocked that can block the malware on the network itself before reaching it to your web server another uh, thing that you uh, can do uh, to uh, isolate isolate your network some of the system which does not need to connect to the internet or does not need to be accessed from outside so you can isolate those machine from the internet also you should not allow the usb access to those system so that we can isolate from the external world and we can safeguard those system another way you can do is you can educate your employees you can educate your user to not to open any suspicious email or uh, unintended email which are which you are not intended to receive or uh, if you are receiving those email should reporting to security operation center or any security teams in your organization 
also you should not access any malicious website you should not connect the usb generally uh, being an organization you should block the usb access and also you can control the web access by deploying the proxy so that only uh, the business related website user will be able to access user will not be able to access the unnecessarily or malicious website so these are the possible uh, prevention that you can take to avoid your system your network to infected with the malware attacks now let's understand if your system is already compromised you came to know that malware has been installed or a system particular system is compromised with the malware now what action you can take this is the most frequent question in the interview uh, if the system is infected what action we have to do so first thing is first and foremost action is you have to remove the system from the network first we have to uh, isolate the system from the network in order uh, to uh, prevent uh, the spread of virus to the other host so first of all you uh, isolate the system from the network then you uh, uh, install the malware byte on your system and scan the system with the malware byte so malware byte has the 32 plus malware uh, and virus engine anti virus and anti malware engine so it detect the virus uh, so uh, that you can do and uh, and check it out whether that that file is exactly malware or virus or not if it is virus antivirus uh, so anti malware will be deleting that file you can also ask the user whether that file user is using or not if and um, anti malware mm, tells that that file is not a malware and you can check with the user whether that user required that file or not if you do not require that file and do not know how this file reached to a system uh, even though antivirus is telling it's not a virus you can delete it using the malware byte so uh, it's good to delete the file from the malware byte because or, or the antivirus because if you are deleting the file manually it there might be some residual file left on your system and there might be chances that virus may occur again virus uh, may come again so uh, that is what action you can take and also it's it's important to understand uh, uh, the source of malware from where which source if it is exactly if you found from the malware byte that is virus or malware uh, it's very important to understand the source of malware that means from where the malware has come mind because there might be chances that because we know that this malware comes through website usb or uh, uh, through emails majority of time through emails so there might be chances that if this user got compromised the system got compromised there might be possible that some other user has also accessed that website or some other user has also got those email and their system once he will open that email their system will also get compromised so this is the responsibility of security team to ensure that to minimize the cost of remediation to ensure that if some system got compromised to ensure to save the other system so we'll see the analyze the source of uh, the malware then we may ask user did you receive any malicious emails and you open it or have you access any website which uh, looks uh, malicious and you open it we'll check with the user if user is unable to answer those questions or he did not remember we can pull the emails log and we can pull the uh, website log we can understand and we can check this you check with the user cross verify with the user and we get the resources then we pull that if you identify if we will be able to identify the source of malware then we'll check who all user has received this email and who all user has access those uh, malicious website to understand the detail of the user there might be chances that uh, they got the email they may not have to have opened the email till now so we can save those system those user system as of at least so we'll get the we'll pull the report of user who has received those email or who has accessed those files and uh, uh, we can uh, tell them we can send an email or we can call them and ask them to delete the email so this is what action possible action we can take if our system got compromised with malware thank you for watching